Hey guys, today I have for you a room tour, but not the room I'm currently in, the room I was previously in. In my back to YouTube video, I mentioned that I filmed a room tour of my student residence hall's room that I lived in for my first year of uni, but I've not filmed an intro or an outro because I didn't have time. So um, this is the intro, here we are, filming it now. Um, and yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. I just, I filmed it partly because I wanna show people what rooms at uni are like. Um, when, before I started uni, I would scout through YouTube and try and find like every video online of a room at uni. I wanted to see like what to bring, what kind of things it would like, what it looked like, how people decorated theirs, like, all kinds of things like that. I was obsessed. I watched like pro pretty much every video on YouTube that shows a uni room, I watched. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I just wanted to add to that. Um, I also wanted to show it because I freaking love how that room looks. Like, it was my little home, it was my little nest. It was small, but I loved it, and it was cute, and it was goth, and it was just, it was cute. So yeah, I just wanna show you um, where I lived for a year, so enjoy. Okay, so to start off with, this is the door to my room from the inside. Um, I've just got like a little Halloween um, banner, a Pierce the Veil poster with Vic and Jaime, and then a Day of the Dead skull, which I got from Asa for like £2 at Halloween, which I love. And then, oh, light switch, it's exciting. And then, so this is the door to my ensuite here, and I have this like tapestry style thing I got from a store in Winchester and then this cute little ghost bag which holds my hair bands. So this is my room. So I'm just gonna go round left and I'll show you the bathroom. So this is my bathroom, this is the door I'm holding because uh, it just like falls straight open it's like a fire door I guess. Um, I've got some towels and like a bathrobe hanging up and then it's really small, but it's cute. Um, so I've just got my scales, and then I've got like a thingy that I hang lingerie on when I've like hand washed it because I just like put it in the tumble dryer, it will get ruined and like stretch. And then I've got like a little vanilla scented thing just to make it smell nice. I've got some cute little flannels that I don't want to use, I just want to keep them like as a display. But it's from Primark. And then these, I want to talk about these, these are so cute, these little vintage pot like this is a like pot to put your toothbrush and stuff in obviously and then there's a little soap dispenser one and then there's one down here which is like a toilet brush holder it's really dark down here but again I haven't used it just like the look of it um, and I've got my perfume mouthwash like general products and stuff um, and then this little basket's from Asda and it's adorable and I just keep like daily stuff like cleansers and then moisturizer boyfriend's like hair gel on the back <laughs> piercing cleaner and then cotton buds and then this really cute little glass container I got from I think it was home bargains and I just keep cotton wool pads in it. I um, got this idea from my uh, beautician that I go to who does like my eyelashes and my like, facials and stuff she uses these and they're so cute. And then I've got this um, set of four drawers I got from Asda in the sale and I thought like the colour was quite vintagey so I got those. It was eight pounds and I just keep loads of like extra random stuff in it like uh, makeup wipes, like nose strips, rollers, um, more makeup wipes, like spare razor, uh, skin lightening cream, just like loads of, that one's nail polish, I think that was just like yeah, lady products. Down here I keep some cleaning supplies, so I've got loads of bleach, I've got an air freshener, this one is gorgeous, it came out at Christmas, warming sandalwood, oh my wow, god so good, and then just like cleaning wipes and stuff. And then up here I've got stuff that I don't use very often or like backups. I've got nail polish remover, uh, backup cleanser, um, old micellar water that I've stopped using, I don't know why. Um, cough syrup, spare hair dye, flannel, and then like a cleaner. And then up here I've got a shower cap, Sophia the first. And then a little uh, hairband thing for like when I clean my face and that's just on like a little hook. And that's my light. There's only one light for the whole bathroom. And then that's my toilet, and I hate the toilet seat. It's disgusting. And then a bath mat from Primark, you can see my Converse. Um, some hand towels, uh, both from Primark. And then my, my hair on the wall, nice. And then just like all my products. I bought this rail thing. Um, you can see here, this metal one. 
but like with the suction things but the wall is like you can't put suction things to it so it's really annoying and then there's like a little thingy there with the mush products and that's my boyfriend's I don't even know what that is and then my shower oh, it's such a bad shower and then the shower curtain that gives out no water at all and that is my bathroom so coming out of my bathroom you come to this area here which first off it's my altar and um, so I just got some black candles, a white candle, this gorgeous snake like candle holder thing I got from TK Maxx at Halloween, a pestle mortar from Argos, um, like a, a knife for the ritual and then a little chalice I got from charity shop, some candles which is from various like witchy shops and then these really cute prints I got from a vintage fair, I just love this one and then I got a spooky one and then as you come up, I've got this really gorgeous pentagram with these little bells on. And that's just hanging on a random hook. I got this from my sister for being a bridesmaid. And then the happy Halloween sign hanging on a hook from Asda. What a huge skeleton guy from Asda. Just everything Halloween from Asda. And my parasol hanging up from a store in Winchester. A uh, little enter if you dare sign over the mirror, actually, I thought it was quite funny. And then I look really gross because I haven't really made one yet. Um, and then I've just got like some Pierce the Veil lyrics down it. And then my coffin bag from Killstar, uh, just a random handbag from a charity shop, and then just the umbrella from my mom. I don't know why I went American there. <laughs> and then I've got the Guitar Hero from the, what, the guitar from the newer Guitar Hero that uh, me and my wife are obsessed with. And then PlayStation 3, which I have one at home, but I wasn't allowed to bring it because I share it with my sister, so this is my boyfriend's one. Let me just play with it here. And then controller. I really want a PS4, but I'm broke, so sad times. And then this little unicorn that like walks along and talks and shit, and she's cute. And then there's teeny tiny drawers that were under my desk when I first moved in, but I pulled them out, so I've got like I put the PlayStation on them. And I've just got like underwear in. Uh, a little TV. That was my boyfriend's second monitor, but my old TV broke, so he gave me this one. And then I've got stuff on the wall here, just like little Killstar cards, which are all of these, just some lyrics that I wrote down, I think they're PSV as well. A Drop Dead sticker, Marilyn Manson Top Trump, because every goth needs one. Um, PSV poster, Frank from My Chemical Romance, a little Sons of Anarchy thing, and then another thing I did in textiles with Wednesday Adams another drop dead thing and now this is where it gets really exciting okay so i have these shelves in my bedroom i'm sorry it's like out of focus and really bright the windows like the curtains are open so all the, so there's like one shelf here one shelf here and then you've got like storage on the top so i have a happy halloween banner from poundland i got when i first moved in and then i've got just a series of random things so i've got Monster High Dolls, Skeleta, and Sarah Screams, and then some Black Roses. These are all photographs taken by me, which you will be able to find on my blog, which I'll link at the bottom. Um, Day of the Dead little skull thing here, Lumpy Space Princess and Bread. Uh, there's a little pumpkin candle holder at the back. These are both from Poundland. Um, this snow globe was from TK Maxx at Halloween, another candle holder from TK no, from Poundland, a series of candles from it's Treadwell's bookstore in London, it's like like an occult bookstore with like cute witchy stuff. Um, I'll put a link to the website because you should definitely visit. And then some more Monster High dolls and then the box which has my tarot cards in, more Monster High dolls and then some salt with like a makeshift lid because I lost the lid for the jar. A little bat from the zoo, more Monster High dolls, uh, a chainsaw, a severed limb, of course, like necessity when you come to uni. A little jar that has like lights in it, a book of tarot cards, a book of serial killers, and then come down onto this shelf. Sorry if you can hear the music because there's like a road right outside my room. Um, the window's shut, but it's still quite loud. These are just like my fashion books, and then just a random book for reading, obviously, and then some Monster High dolls, my binders for stuff for uni, and then I've got these, they're like salad tosses, but they're skeleton hands, and I just keep my rings on those. You can see. 
cute. And then all my DVDs, they're all like turned around because I'm old school and like DVDs. And I've got a few CDs there. And then more Monster High Dolls, I have so many. And then Pepper as a pop vinyl because Pepper's my favourite. And then I've got some serial killer books and then some books on witchcraft and books on Satanism. And then under this shelf, I've got some essential oils which I got from Poundland which I really don't like. Um, they just, they smell awful. I should have expected it to come from Poundland but I thought I'd give them a go. But I don't like them. Um, and then a little voodoo doll I made. It's not like for anyone in particular, it's just cute. And then some little skulls I got from Asda at Halloween. I've got a photo frame from Poundland with This Is A Wasteland written in it. Uh, Pierce the Veil song. Well it's called Hell Above. But I used to have that on my bedroom door at home. And then as above, so below, candle with a clear quartz crystal and the candle was from the bookstore in London. Then a little pumpkin and then I've got this. I can't actually like sew or embroider so I just drew on it to like tapestry style and that's like what I want for my first tattoo. And then I have Nightmare Moon which my friend's friend gave to him to give to me because he knew I like my little pony so I have that. And then I've got all kinds of like water, rain water, storm water. I did have another one, but who knows where that's gone. <laughs> um, and I've just got loads of herbs all along here for like spells and stuff. And then I've got a jar of pins, a jar of bones, which are chicken bones, I think. Those ones, those are, oh, there's chicken bones and then like a rib bone. And then these cute little skull candles I got from Asda at Halloween. A living dead doll's box but the doll isn't in it she's near my bed and then a little pumpkin and then another like tapestry thing that i drew just a mansion thing and then so here's my desk and this bit's really messy and there's like a a candelabra here from asda not at halloween time oh, that's kind of cool. and then this is just like a box of accessories and then just drawers where i just keep the paperwork and the tea towels because people steal my tea towels so i keep them in here and my lamp which I hardly ever use because there's a lamp over here with a little ghosty hanging on it and that lamp, like I use that for my makeup and it's really good and then I've got like my organiser, a poetry book and then just loads of random bits of paper and stuff um, load of fashion magazines here I have like really cute pepper pig toothpaste and hello kitty mouthwash which is adorable got these are my makeup brushes that I don't use on a regular basis they're just kind of all my other ones I take with me everywhere um, because I spend half the time here, half my boyfriend, so I'm just like constantly moving, so I just keep those there. And then this gorgeous mirror, oh no, I got from TK Maxx in the sale, which I was just going to use as like a scrying mirror, but now I just want to keep it as a mirror because it's so cute. Um, I have a Tangle Teaser, which is the penguin. I have this clock that's broken, but it's like a chalkboard one, but I just keep it because I like the ticking. <laughs> And then these are just like makeup stuff that I don't use on a daily basis, but are just here. I should probably cut down on my makeup. And then I've got drawers here for makeup storage, and then drawers here for makeup storage. And then there's my mirror, there, calendar, and my most recent Living Dead doll. Yeah, which was a gift from a friend. It was like a surprise gift. I like checked my post and I had this, and I was like, yay! And then. This is my little crow I got from Asda, and I've just got random, random stationary bits. And then these drawers here, there's four drawers, and it's just like random stationary stuff in there. Um, again, just more stationary stuff. Just loads, <laughs> let's open the other drawer, it's so packed. Just loads of like random accessories and stuff, and like contact lens cleaner, sunglasses, hair stuff, kit and gear. And then just loads of like curlers and tongs and straighters and hair products. Down there I keep my air wrap and there's some placemats and a laundry bag and then some squash and a pinky pie sock that should be in the wash. And then there's my wash bin and that was just for Primark. 